A new program for people with traumatic brain injury is doubling survival rates. In Health Watch, Chili Botat tells us about one paramedic who used it to save her own son's life. Arizona first responders relearned how to treat brain injured patients, and the effect has been phenomenal. I thought my son was dead just based on the impact. I felt there was no way that he could have survived because uh, the whole back end was crushed up to our backs. But Arizona paramedic Alexandria Matthews had her epic training the week before and turned from mom to first responder. By not allowing my son to be hypoxic, as soon as he was in my arms, I started breathing for him. I think plays a huge factor in how he is today and his um, that he doesn't have the deficits that he probably would. Epic is the first major pre-hospital intervention project for TBI, and it shows that early treatment is critical. To have survival not just change by 10 percent, but by 100 percent increase in survival is really remarkable. The protocol prevents the three H's, hypoxia, hypotension or low fluid, and hyperventilation. When the light is on, you squeeze the bag. When it is off, you let go. That's the opposite from what's been taught for decades. But the reason uh, why it drops the intracranial pressure is unfortunately it causes constriction of the arteries so that you don't get good flow to the brain when you hyperventilate. And when you're squeezing the bag... You Sean Cullany has trained thousands of EMTs and paramedics. When the patient would talk to the surgeon, the surgeon said, this all happened before you got here. This happened pre-hospital. And that's when our guys really started to grab hold of it. Alexandria Matthews believes. My little boy, I get to go home to him every single day, so I want to give, the, I want to give people the opportunity to do that as well. Dr. Spate says many EMS systems in other states are implementing the protocol, which is available online. You can find more information on our website. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.